What's up you guys, Savage Boss here and today I'm going to talk to you guys about my full review of part 2 Wrestlemania things you might have missed, easter eggs, stuff like that but my results as well on the pay per view and my thoughts of the matches so this is my review of Wrestlemania part 2 this time around I, I gotta watch the kickoff, uh, the kickoff show match uh, because uh, uh, it was Liv Morgan versus Natalia a dinner ahead of time so I wouldn't have to miss that match I thought Natalia put up a really good fight. I thought it was a basic SmackDown match, pretty much. Nothing too special on the kickoff show. Uh, I think uh, Liv Morgan defeated uh, Natalia, but they put like a, Natalia put her through a lot of like submission holds, like sharpshooters. I, I thought it was I thought it was a pretty decent match. Honestly, I think the next match, the first match of the card, was one of the most controversial matches I feel like could have happened in WWE. Uh, the reason why I say this is it's the NXT Championship. It's Charlotte Flair versus Shayna Baszler. Um, Charlotte won the belt, and that means she has to go to NXT, which is horrible. But I thought I was really excited to see her go. I, I can see her the way because Rhea Ripley was phenomenal watching that match. I give it like five out of ten stars. That was a that was a really good match. I feel like. I feel like Charlotte could do well in NXT because she's the queen, and Baszler could do well in the main roster. Also about this match, I feel like I feel like WWE did really well. Shayna Baszler wore a Vegeta attire, which is a Dragon Ball Z character, and Baszler looked uh, looked like she hurt her, her, her uh, left or right, I think left knee last night. She was in pain. It was a good match though. I was really, I was really good. Next up, we have my boy Alistair Black. Taking on Bobby Lashley, uh, Alistair Black won. It was a singles match. Uh, nothing um, like special here. It's, it's like it's a single card match. It, it was okay. Nothing special. I feel like Alistair Black could do way better. I know he's really talented, and put him in another pay-per-view st uh, standing with another superstar. He has really good chemistry. Uh, uh, before I begin uh, talking about uh, this match, but I'm gonna say really fast. Charlotte Flair had really good chemistry with Baszler, and like the both of the moves like fit each other. But I don't see a lot of like good technical. It's a lot of like, technical moves, but not a lot of like uh, over the top OMG moments in this match. It was good. I give it okay. Uh, it's okay. Next up, um, we have Otis versus Dolph Ziggler. I thought this match was really well done. If um, you're a big fan of Otis like me, uh, recently recent amounts of the storyline, which was Valentine's Day, where Otis uh, was supposed to go on a date with Mandy Rose. Then it happened, and when he got there, Dolph Ziggler stole his girl. Later on, we saw this mystery person. We were remembering his Ronda Rousey, Alfonso Ali. I don't know who it is. I hope, hopefully, someone good and decent. But also, what happened? So Sonny Deville uh, broke it into hacked uh, Liv Morgan's phone, and then that's how um, she got. Uh, she got caught, and that's why I love Morgan. It's going to feud with her on SmackDown, so setting up that feud really well. I thought that Dolph Ziggler Otis one was really cool because Otis finally got his girl, and Dolph Ziggler in his camo. Holy cow! I love that attire. That was a cool attire. I felt like Otis did a phenomenal job. Uh, he won by the Caterpillar. One, two, three. I think special there, but uh, I thought it was a good match. It was a really good match. At the very end of the match. Uh, Otis uh, got his kiss with Mandy. This match has to be my favorite match of the night. Um, it was Edge versus Randy Orton. I love that match. Uh, Edge uh, put got a beating by Randy Orton. Both men put beatings on each other. I I, I was shocked. Like it, so, they started in, uh, around the ring, the exit of the ring to the performance center, which is the gym, like getting strong stuff. So Edge was swinging there like a monkey bars. Randy slamming him places. Oh my gosh. It was it was a beating to watch. It was brutal. It was brutal. Then they climbed up on top of a truck. I'm like, holy cow. Like, Randy and Edge both struggled to get up on their feet many times in the match. Like, that's how good the chemistry is. I'm like, holy cow. Eventually, Edge st uh, stood up on his feet. Uh, he's the last man standing, obviously. He's the last man standing match. Um, I thought... Edge did a wonderful job. Randy Orton did a wonderful job. I feel like that match was really good. A lot of violence. It was a big old ladder during the catering thing I saw. 
Uh, there's a little bit of, not really a lot of Easter eggs in that match. Uh, there's a couple things that you might have saw, like NXT uh, stuff, uh, t-shirts and stuff. I think like that you saw in the match, but nothing important. But it was a really cool match. Before the match began, the Randy Orton Edge, there was a uh, RKO, was RKOs out of nowhere uh, to Edge. I got a lot of those Edge I was going to counter. So that's what happened immediately when the belt rung. If you're a big uh, New England Patriots fan, you may have heard of this guy. The host of WrestleMania was Gronkowski. Um, he won a couple of Super Bowls. He won the 24-hour championship uh, against our truth There was a bunch of guys, and eventually uh, Gronk literally jumped off the canopy, and he went uh, the he went on the cover um, one, two, three, and he got defeated at our truth at the belt. So maybe on Raw tonight, we're gonna see Gronk lose the belt to our truth not sure he's going to win it, obviously, because he missed her 24-7. Next match, um, this match is the SmackDown Women's uh, Championship match. Um, this was between Tamina, Naomi, Lacey Evans, Sasha Banks, and Bayley. Uh, this match was pretty good. It was really good. So, I, I give it a solid, like, 6 out of 10. Uh, I thought it was wonderful. I executed. I, I thought I was going to get Bayley. I, I thought Sasha was going to turn on Bayley. Did not happen in that match. Cause all the girls literally uh, pounded on uh, Tamina to get her out. One, two, three. Uh, Ni Naomi put a really good chemistry in that match. I thought she did really well. She got eliminated. Lacey was part of the final three. I thought everyone would get Lacey that won the belt, but Sasha Banks got eliminated before that. So at the very end, it was Lacey versus Bailey. Bailey retains SmackDown Championship. I don't know what was the title. I thought the match was good. Uh, it was a really good brawl. A lot of really funny dialogues from Bailey. Um, I thought it was really well executed. Nice job, Bailey. This next match is the Firefly Funhouse match. This has to be my favorite moment of WrestleMania on the cards itself. Because I love the theme Bray Wyatt. I'm a huge Bray Wyatt fan. Um, that's why I wore my I was third shirt because I was watching WrestleMania last night. But um, the thing is, this match took John Cena through his career. So he took him to the fun house. Rabbit and Rabbit told him to enter through the door, which he did, and then he found us like really weird, silly like fiend gags. I was like going to get a match with the fiend, but no, we got a lot of like things with Bray Wyatt. And we actually got the real Bray Wyatt himself cameo in there before he turned into this character of the fiend and funhouse Bray. You got the actual Bray himself in there. I'm like, holy cow. I, I was screaming because I love Bray Wyatt, I was, I, was, I was really excited there. That was really cool. Uh, Mercy the Buzzard was commentating. And then we have uh, Boss Man, which is a Mr. McMahon puppet with horns, which I thought was quite unique, you know. I thought John Cena uh, pulled off a good match, but The Fiend defeated him at the very end of it, and then he disappeared. He just vanished out of nowhere. I like how the different knee strikes from the start of his career, that's why you see him wears a tire, and then he has word life. Look at the economics, word life, thug life, look at the economics, economics, you know, word life, word life. So he has word life going on, and then he goes to his career, he never wears the new shirt. I want him to wear a new shirt, but no, we got him to wear his older stuff, I'm like, it's horrible. Um, I, I thought it was a good match, it was, it was interesting. It was a big story, I, I don't know why I just watched, I don't know how to describe what I watched, but I put a couple clips in that as well. And then a picture of Charlotte Flair with the title. Before we on to the main event of the night, I want to talk to you guys about this really fast. John Cena wore actual like wrestling trunks. He hasn't worn that since his early days. He looked kind of weird with his long hair and he looks older with those. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, John Cena, what are those? You know, what are those, John? Uh, I wasn't sure what that was. <laughs> it was it was interesting to see John Cena in different attires. The favorite one has to pull off is. Thug Life. I saw I saw John Cena when I went to WrestleMania last year. That was cool. By the time I could include that clip. Finally, we have the main event. It was Brock Lesnar taking on the Royal Rumble winner Drew McIntyre. So it pretty much felt like it was the typical uh, Seth Rollins uh, superhero aspect. If, if you've seen the match from last year, Rollins got a beating from Lesnar, which was followed by uh, a five suplex to McIntyre. McIntyre hit him with a Four or five uh, Claymore kicks. I thought that match was really cool. 
I, I, I thought I thought Brock Lesnar did a super good job of um not Drew McIntyre did a super good job of claim working claim claim working kicking him Claymore, Claymore, Claymore. It was like Claymore Country. All, all of the WrestleMania main event. That was, that was cool. It was a quick match though. Uh, it was not special, but like he won the belt, which is good. So you don't have to worry about. Um, you have to, you have, you have to worry about uh, Brock Lesnar uh, holding the belt. I feel like the character of Drew McIntyre grew on me because I, I, I appreciate it, what he does now. Because I watched a couple of things, uh, watched everything hyped up for WrestleMania and Rumble. I felt like he did a phenomenal job. So congratulations to Drew uh, McIntyre for winning the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm gonna give WrestleMania Part Two a solid uh, nine as well. So a total of 18. So 10 out of 10 for me. I love WrestleMania. It's a really good pay-per-view this year. Um, there's hit or miss moments in the card, but other than that, it was really solid. Um, I love going to WrestleMania. I love going. That's one more my eyes there, sure. But I've, at the end of the day, WWE did a really good job. Also, I like two parts because I don't like staying up to midnight. It helps me, honestly. So I don't like staying up late and for like for midnight, you know, for WrestleMania. Two parts is right right for us because a lot of kids have to go to school the next day and stuff. So I feel like having it until like 10, 10, 30-ish uh, for two parts was really smart for WWE. I'm hoping to do that again next year, but having no audience, I'm kind of used to it. But hopefully we have a crowd. I want a crowd of uh, SummerSlam and other pay-per-views coming up. But I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to say uh, thank you guys for watching. Before that, I'm going to tell you what I ate for WrestleMania. So I had a burger, and then I had a uh, Code Blue Mountain Dew in my WrestleMania cup. And then I also had a um, WWE John Cena ice cream sandwich, which he, you can't see me. He actually, I ate him, and then he disappeared. Like, you can't see him in the ring anymore. Like, I, I was cool. So I'll end the video here. I want to say, hope you guys like and subscribe. I saw the boss, and um, more awesome videos will be coming out Wednesday. And hopefully, you watch part one before you watch part two. WrestleMania, you can watch them either order you want, really, but it's more canon to do part one and then part two. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you like and subscribe. Saw the boss out of here. It's fun to make food. It really puts me in the mood. So pull up a seat and start to eat. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, mm, yummy, 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 yummy. Yum.